right, let's have a little tour around what we've did. Let me show you what we started with. This is exactly where you spawn. I will give you the seed and the coordinates in a post on my Patreon link down below for free. You don't need to pay anything at all. You can just go onto my Patreon and look at the post and it has all the details, the pictures, the spawns and notable points of interest around this whole uh, map here. 1.16.4, but look at this place. This is what we started with and we were inspired to build kind of a monastery. We destroyed that building and that building and that's pretty much the only buildings we destroyed. We kept pretty much everything else lots of different levels an epic spawn as you know we did a tower on top of here um, so this is what we started with and if i do slash back this is what we ended up with <laughs> yes it's up here here we go i was lost for a second but look at the view from down here is actually pretty good as well really really nice some of the vines have grown on a bit since we recorded the video which is really exciting as well got these epic little bridges i might do a little tutorial about these bridges that would be a cool tutorial very easy to do a little bridge like that little hanging bridge so this whole settlement here could be a monastery it could be a community whatever you want it to be <laughs> that's what it is really but uh, we had a lot of fun building this it's quite a simple build actually it might look quite good but it's you know it's easy so what did we do we just had terracotta and then we put sandstone on top we made sure that most of the sections that we did were like an odd number of blocks across so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and when we did odd numbers like nine eleven thirteen you end up with that single block at the very top and we thought that was kind of important for uh, like a, a nice balanced look uh, symmetrical as well so we had terracotta on the bottom we made our bill buildings odd numbers and then we had these towers as well and these towers are three by three although we did put one five by five tower over here which i don't quite like but it's, it's kind of okay and then it was a question of just joining things up with walkways with stairs we've got this little farm back here really cool uh farm indeed and then doorways were just open like that and then Thanks to Dragon Mustard, we've got some little <laughs> some little characters to put in here on armor stands. But look at these guys in here. These are little monks. Aren't they amazing? Look. <laughs> it's just so cute. Little monkey guys. And they're reading the, uh, uh, the, the library. Library books. We haven't furnished everywhere, I'm afraid. We furnished some of the rooms. Like, for example, I think down here we have like a refractory like a little place where you'd come and eat. Oh, where is it? It's somewhere around here. We have a place where you can come and get some food. Hmm, where would it be? It's around here somewhere. Maybe it's down here. Aha, this could be the place. Right down here is a little place that we have already furnished. Everyone's kind of standing up. <laughs> Maybe they're having a prey and they're having the meal. Look at the meat that's being cooked as well for them. But um, it's a lot of fun building in this style. The smooth sandstone is awesome. We purposefully didn't put too much detail into the whole place. Just simple, smooth sandstone, simple buildings. Um, what's happening in here? Ah, oh, they're having a little uh, little gathering in here. A little clan gathering there. Looks like a bit like a cult, to be honest. Um, yeah, simple, smooth sandstone stairs. We've got this beautiful little archway here with the water. Now, the water comes down right from this plantation up here right from this kind of source block up here and it kind of flows all the way down, all the way down there and then through here and then out down this kind of purpose-built kind of river or something or whatever it is into this pool and then from that pool it was actually supposed to leak out. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> ah, we forgot to do that. Maybe it's just going to make a bath or maybe we make it leak out down the back here. But that is something we actually forgot to do. We meant to take that water and actually have it flow somewhere. Never mind. The build isn't perfect, but it's close. We love it. We love it. We had a lot of fun building this. Another little kind of rope bridge across here. Really, really cool to do. Super simple. And then up to this building up here, which looks a bit like a church kind of inside. It's very, very open plan on the inside, as you can see there. Um, another huge building up here as well. Again, unfurnished, but with a cute staircase running around the back here. I'm kind of all over the place with this tour, but you kind of get the idea. Most of it is unfurnished, and uh, I'll be giving this up for download on my Patreon. So if you join my Patreon 
or become a YouTube channel member, you'll be able to download this map. And this map only has uh, this monastery on it. The rest of the map is all completely uh, fresh, untouched, and not built on. So you can come and play, and this could be your base, right? This could be your base right up here. Plenty of farms, plenty of place for storage, uh, plenty of little nooks and crannies and walkways, uh, places for bedrooms, for towers, for linking walls and everything. There is one detail down here. We've got a little storeroom down here, and this storeroom doesn't really link to anything else in the build. So you could actually dig through the walls here, maybe link it up to another part of the build. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a unique on its own storeroom. Oh, by the way, do you like my uh, like my statue designed by JJ Cake? Uh, JJ T Cake. Thank you for that. As a tutorial on my channel for this statue. If you can't find it, just let me know in the comments, and I'll give you the link. Search Andy Zoda statues and you should be able to find it. So I don't know what else to show you on this little mini tour. We've got a little walkway here as well. Again, it's just a simple collection of uh, buildings which are an odd number across um, acacia slab roofs and stairs. And that's all we did, and little three by three towers. And then it's a question of adding in some cool details. So maybe you could have put some paintings on the wall or something some some maybe some uh what do you call it that stuff this stuff what do you call it the uh, terracotta maybe it would look good like uh paintings or kind of art on the wall oh i forgot about this we have a small hut here nothing to hide down here thank you to dragon muster who always puts an epic secret into my builds we've got this amazing library here and then down here it opens up into a little place for the cult, I mean the religion or the people, to come and worship the two-eyed uh, emerald god. So this epic little secret is hiding down here under this as well. So thank you to Dragon Master. We love your Easter eggs. We really do. And wasn't there one up here? I think there was one... I mean, look at this place. It's just so awesome for building. Isn't it inspiring? What an amazing, amazing seed. Oh, we've got that little walk bridge across there as well and a little pond here I didn't even realize that this little pond was here that is so cute that's been put in as well I didn't even know that's been being put in by the way I build all these builds on twitch so if you follow me on twitch twitch.tv forward slash Andy Isura I'm live every day at 4 p.m. UK time you can come along uh, even if you can't watch you can just listen and uh, you could find out how we do it find out the behind the scenes watch the behind the scenes watch it being created on Twitch and I hope a lot of you will be able to join me um, as we build and transform. Now, would you like to see more epic seeds like this transformed? Might not be in this style, might be a completely different style depending on the seed. If you do, be sure to hit that like button, share this video and of course subscribe to Andy Isura so you can see more epic seed transformations. Remember the link to the seed is in the down below. It links to my Patreon but it's a free public post and you can get the seed, the coordinates and uh, well you don't even need the coordinates, to be honest, because this is actually the spawn. This is the spawn. This is where you actually arrive on the map. Let me show you inside a few more of these buildings. This one's really, really cool. It links up to this kind of walkway, which links up to this tower as well. And then this one in here links up to this one. It just reminds me of a monastery, somewhere you'd have plenty of rooms for, for praying. <laughs> um, you'd have plenty of rooms for storage. Maybe... Maybe we could have added vineyards. I think vineyards probably the only thing that we missed out. Really, we could have had some vineyards. I think that would have been clever because the you know the monks they like to uh, like to make some wine, right? There we go. We can go through here. We can emerge, and everything just kind of links up together. Little kind of a separate balcony there, uh, but there we go. What do you think of the spawn? Let me know if you would like us to transform more seats and give us a mark out of ten. Uh, and thank you to all the builders. We have a name board over here. Please give us all a mark out of 10 because we, we spent a long time building this. So we have actually here a name board. So big shout out and thank you to Uki, to Snake Boy, to Kurta, to Dreadspine, to Misty Mur. And we also had uh, Alpha Reno was a builder and Dragon Master. We're going to add their heads in uh, later on today as well. But there we go. Thank you for watching. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao with the blocks. Be with you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have I done? I gotta fix it.